Greetings again. Hey, first video on defense in specific, okay? So all players need to know this. Short stick, long stick, goalies, the whole bit. doesn't matter, okay? So we're going to go over three things here. And we're going to, again, you're going to see this video after you've been introduced to it, all right? Uh, first and foremost, okay, we're going to go through, these are just defense. We're going to be generally playing man-to-man. -man. Obviously, we play man-down zone in, a, in our man-down unit, all right, that we'll get into. Uh, but these are three things and terminologies that are not listed on your uh, and not all of them are listed on your on your uh, verbiage sheet, but you start need to know start needing to know this. Okay, first thunder. Okay, just like thunder and lightning. All right, thunder like that comes from the sky. Okay, we're going to press out adjacent. Okay, say we're getting down to the, in the fourth quarter. Uh, one, we think there's this weak ball handler. Maybe we're facing. It's getting late. Maybe we're down a goal or you know whatever it may be or a couple goals. All right, we're gonna press out adjacent. Okay, what adjacent means is when you're next to the ball. Okay, you guys should all know that because we've gone over our lefts and rights on defense. Okay, so let's look, let's look at this. We're playing defense here again. Remember, we're playing defense. All right, so our defenders here in D's. Okay, and then the offensive is the opponents. Okay, and the ball's right here, top right, in relation to the goal. So we got a man on ball. He's harassing. He's not necessarily you know going going crazy and going over the head checks and things like that. But we're going to press him. Get on his hands, make this guy nervous, and not have an easy pass, okay? So we're going to press out adjacent. So notice how our defensemen are right now up on their guys. The other three are right in the hole here, you know, not worrying about the guy that's not worrying about the guy that's 40 yards away from the ball, okay? Covering the crease, obviously. But notice how they're packed in. Should there be a breakdown, we got, a, we got help, okay? But this adjacent, okay, we're going to press out adjacent, all right? And it doesn't matter where it is. Let's say this guy now moves over here, and he starts with a ball over here, and our D's over here. Here's the ball, okay? It's going to be the same thing, okay? So now he would be adjacent here. There's our D. He's now off. He would now likely be out here. This defense would move out here. And there's our and there's our guys right there, okay? So again, we've got our adjacents pressed, meaning when we say press, don't let your guy get out and get open and get the ball. you got to get your stick on his hands, and we're going to try to force him to make a bad pass, drop the ball, freak out, throw it out of bounds, whatever it may be. We're trying to get the ball back, okay? So there's our thunder call, all right? Lightning. Lightning is just strictly, you know, actually, let's leave it right here with the ball, all right? This guy would obviously be in if we're not in thunder, if we're in lightning, okay? That means maybe we're seeing a guy that's really a good dodger and we're having a tough time covering him, okay? Long core, short core, doesn't matter, okay? We're having a tough time covering him. So if this guy tries to dodge here, all right, we want to slide early, all right? So that means lightning, quick strike, okay? We want to slide early to the ball, all right? So, you know, this guy dodges in here, we're going to go right away, all right? We think maybe, all right, well, so be it. If he passes this guy, then we can recover and play. But we go fast and furious quickly on a lightning call, meaning if this guy goes this way, this defender goes. If he dodges this way, this guy's going to slide quick and fast in a lightning type of slide, okay? Very simple, lightning, early slide. We'll practice that, okay? And then last but not least, we'll go over our hammer call, okay? This is when we're down a goal. Right, and let's say there's under two minutes left to play, and our opponent has the ball, and we're playing defense, right? So we're again on defense. Let's say their opponents, you know, whatever it may be, they're in a two, three, one, could be anything. All right. And so let's say this guy has the ball, right? And we're gonna, you know, do this, and we're gonna quickly there's our defenseman, all right. So we got one, two, three, four, yep, one more defenseman in there, but we've got everybody covered. Okay, this guy's got the ball. He starts to carry it here. I mean, obviously, if he's right here, we're going to slide and double the ball anyways, all right? But what we're going to try and do here is send one of these defensemen out from the crease area. This guy would generally be pressing out here, all right? So, so one of these guys would slide and double the ball. The goalie would then slide out and take this guy, all right? And so the goalie would take the closest opponent, okay, uh, to the goal, and let send the defenseman to go double the ball. So now this guy would be here, and we'd have a defender here, and a defender here. We're trying to double the ball quickly, okay? That's our hammer call. Double the ball, and we're going to pull the goalie. So again, you know, this guy's not, not a factor back there. The goalie would step up here. This defenseman would be here. If this guy tries to shoot it, you know, we've got bodies in front. The whole bit, we think a goalie can maybe recover it. Ideally, we'll do it if, like, there's a dead ball, and the ball starts back here at X, and like I said, there's 30 seconds left a minute. We can double it right away, pull the goalie, you know, out on this guy, and then everyone else locks off, okay? So we double the ball, and everyone else would lock off, and I'll just kind of give you a cleaner look at that, all right? So this guy, here's the opponent. We'll put, you know, our goalie there, and then we've got another opponent here, opponent, 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 all right? So there's our five, there's our double. So that means the goalie's out, so we still have a defenseman to cover each one of these guys. 
we lock off, okay? So hammer means lock off everybody else, send a goalie to you know, lock off a player, and then we send two long poles, preferably to double the ball, all right? So thunder, lightning, hammer, we'll practice it, but this is just a good review for you guys going into a long weekend, uh, as well as you know, throughout the course of the summer, you can, you know, you can kind of revert to it and uh, just take a look and review the video uh, and just keep it fresh in your mind, okay? So we call it, you know, because we won't use it often, but we got to know it and we got to be able to do it well, okay? Thunder, lightning, hammer.